Hey YouTube, the previous video, uh, I rebuilt the motor, my daughter's uh, Altima, and uh, now we got a little bit of a, a problem. It was uh, kind of lacking power for a rebuilt motor. It should have had a lot more power than it did. And um, I'm going to, uh, I got I'm suspecting it's got a clogged exhaust system. So we're going to check that out. Uh, I'll show you what it's doing right now. And we rev it out. Thirty-five hundred. If we let it run a little longer, uh, it even gets worse than that. Sometimes it breaks up at like three thousand. Yeah, see a little starting to break up right there. Oh, it's dropping. That's all I can get out of it. And if you look at the vacuum gauge, I got a vacuum gauge hooked up. Vacuum gauge is reading a little on the low side, and when you rev her out, that should settle back down to even lower where it was at a dead idle once you know once it revs up and climbs to the uh, the RPM. So uh, I'm going to pull the O2 sensor out, and that'll cause an exhaust leak. And if uh, the exhaust system is in fact clogged. Uh, we'll know right away if uh, that's the problem. So let me go pull that out So I took the heat shield off I'm gonna take this front O2 sensor out All right, right now the uh, with that O2 sensor out it's gonna blow the hot exhaust right on the uh, radiator hose and on the fan So I don't want to do that and burn anything up. So I'm gonna do this really quick uh, also, I'm going to get a shot of the uh, the vacuum gauge when I first start it. We'll see what it looks like. <laughs> it's going to be loud as hell. Yeah, right away you can see the vacuum gauge is up there. If I rev it out a little bit, you see it climbs. Now let's see what the tack is doing now. Yeah, not a problem. So uh, this thing definitely has a clogged exhaust system. So now the next thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, break the cat where it connects to the back exhaust pipe, put the O2 sensor back in, and we'll see if the problem goes away. If it does go away, the problem is rear of the front cat. If not, it is the front cat, and uh, we'll see what we're going to do with that. All right, so I broke the, uh, the bolts free between the front uh, catalytic converter and the exhaust pipe. And I pulled it back a little bit, so there's a little bit of an exhaust leak. It's not a full flow leak, but it should be just as good as that uh, O2 sensor being removed. I put the O2 sensor back in, and now we'll start it up, and we'll do the same test, and we'll look at the vacuum gauge again, too. Now, right away, I can see the vacuum gauge is still in that, like, between the red green, and green zone. So, uh, it's, it's not going to be the rear exhaust system. So, let's just rev it and see. It's, uh, it's the front cat, so we'll take the front cat out and uh, see what we can do from there. All right, so I got the cat out. Uh, the bottom here doesn't look bad. I can't see what's in the top. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty confident that uh, this thing's clogged up and melted at the top or something. So I'm just going to go, since I don't have replacement, uh, I'm just going to go and gut this thing. Um, if that works, maybe later on I'll put a header on it. Because uh, these uh, Nissan's QR 2.5s have a problem with the cats failing. And the little pieces kind of bounce around in there. And they can get sucked back into the exhaust with the pulsations. And uh, end up inside your engine and destroying your, your engine. And that motor now is, is completely rebuilt. It's not a junkyard engine. I redid that whole thing myself. Everything inside of it I know is new. So, um... We're just going to gut this thing out and put it back on. And like I said, maybe later we'll put a header on it in its place. And uh, we'll put it back on and see how it goes from there. I'm just going to go in there with a with like a chisel and a hammer and just start smashing the cat to pieces and dump it all out until it's all clear. Okay, so I gutted the cat. And these are the pieces that came out. See those little tubes? 
Now, the exhaust normally just passes right through those without much of a problem. Uh, but if you turn it over, you can see they're all half blocked, uh, more than half blocked. So uh, that's why the engine wasn't breathing properly. Now I'm going to start it up and uh, show you what the vacuum gauge is doing. All right, here we go. Much higher. Now when I rev it to uh, 2000 or 1500, somewhere around there, you're going to notice it drops for a second. But then it comes back up and it should actually come back up a little more than, than idle when it's revving out a little bit and come up when you decelerate so it's just below that I can't really read it from here that 150 number there and as I rev it up I come up above it now watch the tack she's fixed I'm gonna go take her for a ride All right, so here's the test. Zero to 60 in about 13 seconds. Uh, it used to be zero to maybe 55 in about a minute and a half with the clog cat. So yeah, it's much better. Thanks for watching.